Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to read some romance books. I'm not usually a romance reader. I tend to read more fantasies, thrillers, and mysteries, self-help books, that sort of thing. And every like once in a while I'll read a romance book. I have four books here that I really wanted to read and I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could read all four of them in one week. <laughs> so these are the four books that I want to try to read this week. The first one being The Seven Year Slip. I heard such great things about this book and I bought it as soon as I heard someone talk about it here on booktube because it just sounded so interesting. It just sounded like such a good book. So I pick this one up. So this is one of the books that I want to try to read this week. And then we have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've heard, again, so many amazing things about this book. A lot of people have had this book be five stars for them, so this is another one that I want to read. And this cover is so pretty. I love the cover of this book. And then I have Happy Place by Emily Henry. Again, I've heard so many things. All four of these books that I God is because I've just heard so many people rave about them saying that they're such amazing books. So this is the other one that I have that I want to read. And I'm pretty sure this is a romance, right? <laughs> I think so. And then the last one that I have is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. So this is the final book that I have. All four of these I believe to be romances so these are the books that i want to try to read this week and today is january 31st so i'm going to start today january 31st and we're going to go all the way until february 7th 7th is our last day and i'm going to see if i can read all four of these books this is going to be really hard for me because i am not a fast reader i'm a pretty slow reader and i tend to read just like one book a week at the most one and a half books a week. I don't really read that fast. This is a challenge for me. Also with this week, I want to just like romanticize the whole week and just like do like romantic things for myself. I know that that sounds silly, but it's just gonna be like a, a self-care romance. I wanna wear pink the entire week as I do this challenge. I just want it to be like a whole vibe. You know, like we're going for the whole like the whole thing, the whole aesthetics of Valentine's Day, just like the coziness and the pink and the love and all of that. I wanna do all of it. So it's January 31st and I wanna do this a whole week. So by February 7th is the last day of this challenge. Hopefully I will finish most of these books. Do I think that I will finish all four of them? It's gonna be really hard. I'm just, I'm gonna try my best, okay? I'm not gonna say that I can't do it because I I could definitely do it, but um, it is gonna be a challenge because like I said, I am a bit of a slower reader. I am very curious to see which one I will like the most. I'm gonna sort of be ranking them at the end as well to see like which one I like the most, but don't come for me, okay? Don't come for me if I don't choose like the one. This is already challenging as like trying to decide which book I want to start with. I think I'm going to start with Love and Other Words. I think this is the one I'm going to start with. And then I'm probably going to go into this one. Yeah, I think that's the order we're going to go in. Let's get to reading. So today is February 2nd and I actually finished Love and Other Words yesterday which makes me really happy that we finally got a book done and it took me two days. And I also started on the seven year slip right here. I am on page 60. This book was, it was so good, but I want to save like all of my thoughts on all the books till the very end of this video and then I'll talk about all of them and 
pick my favorite, but it's been so good so far. I'm feeling all of the like giddiness and love, just all like the warm fuzzies is what I'm feeling. And it makes me really happy that I'm doing this challenge. I was just gonna get ready really quick this morning and then go back to reading. I have a soundtrack for you guys for your books. You're gonna read Love in Other Words or another romance book. I have like the perfect album for you. I don't know if any of you guys know this band called The Fray. They do have an album from the 2000s and I think it's called How to Save a Life. And I listen to that album when I'm not reading. So I actually can't listen to any sort of music when I read because it would just be way too distractive. I will start singing the songs. There's just, there's no way that I could do that. And when I read, it's like I'm watching a movie in my head. So I just like to read in like silence and that's when I can really focus on a book. But when I'm not reading, so when I was finishing up this book yesterday and when I wasn't reading it, if I was out running errands or doing other things, in the times that I wasn't reading the book, I was listening to that album, How to Save a Life, and it is perfect. It is the perfect album for these romance books. It is, it just, it fits perfectly. And especially with this book, because she worked in the hospital, the song How to Save a Life just like ties up perfectly with this. Highly recommend if you are looking for like a theme. It's perfect for the times where you're not reading the book but you're thinking about the book. So I am ready for the day. I'm wearing a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I think it's called First Dance. I'm not sure but it's such a beautiful pink. Um, and I'm wearing pink. I've been wearing pink every day since I started this challenge and I think that you guys should do that too if you guys are wanting to get into the mood for romances, even if it's little things to get into the vibes of this whole challenge and into romance. By the way, this book, I could not put it down. I think that's why it was so easy for me to finish it. I did not want to stop reading it at all. Like I wanted to keep reading it. When I wasn't reading it, I was thinking about reading it. I love books that like you just don't want to put down and the only thing that you want to do is read and this is what that book was for me. So today is February 8th. So this challenge ended yesterday, February 7th, and I was able to finish three books, which is incredible because I did not think, I just didn't think that I would be able to do it. And I did, so I'm very happy. I finished Love in Other Words. This was the first book that I finished. And then I also read The Seven Year Slip. And then the last book that I finished was Happy Place. And I actually did the audiobook version through Spotify. And the only book that I did not get to was Divine Rivals. I do believe that I could have done it, but once the weekend hit, it kind of derailed me a little bit. So it was February 3rd and February 4th. Those two days, I didn't read as much as I should have. And so I feel like if I did read those two days, I would have been able to get to this one. But that's okay. I'm still really, really happy with what I read and the amount that I've read. And, you know, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm not usually a fast reader. So the fact that I was able to read like just two of these books plus the audiobook in a week is just really impressive for myself. And it's a personal goal. So I am very happy with what I was able to do. And like I said, I tried to make it like a whole vibe with like romance and everything. And today I'm wearing like this pinkish lavender top. So the first book, Love in Other Words, 
has to do with like a past young love into adulthood and kind of the whole story of how they met and they are meeting again in the future. And so you kind of go through their whole story and it's very cute and very heartwarming, but also th there's just a lot of emotions in this book. And then we have the seven year slip. They're in an apartment and the apartment has this magical thing that it does where it goes back in time seven years and she ends up meeting this person. And you know, you just have to read the book because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but that's kind of what this one is. And I would say there are some, like a lot of different emotions with this book too. So it's not just a romance. There's like a deeper levels, but again, like I don't want to go that deep into it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. This book was really fantastic because it takes place in New York City and I lived in New York City for three years. So it was just so nice. It just took me back to New York. Like there's a part in this book where they go to Washington Square Park and they're like talking about the archway and walking around in summer and in the evening. And I've done that before at Washington Square Park and I've been there in the evening and, um, you know, have eaten food out there and walked around. And so it just took me back to those moments. And I feel like the person that wrote this, Ashley Poston, I feel like she is a New Yorker or has lived in New York or has gone to New York because she just wrote about it so well and really described everything exactly how New York was for me. And so that's what made me love this book. And then we have Happy Place, which is a couple that were engaged, but then they called it off and then they have to sort of act like they're still together. And you know, it's a whole thing that happens. That's what this book is about. They were all really good romances. And again, they deal with like deeper level emotions. I felt like all three of these books had just like deeper levels and it wasn't just about their love. It had like other elements to it. And I feel like that's not something that I hear a lot of people say. And so I just felt like, you know, you're not only going into this for a romance, there's like deeper levels to all of these books, which, which is good. You know, you want to have depth to all of these books. But I have to say that out of all three, my favorite was Love in Other Words. This romance was just so beautiful and I loved sort of like their history together. And this was the book that I found myself that I just like really wanted to get to. And I, when I wasn't reading this book, I was just thinking about reading the book and I wanted to get back to it and I wanted to read it. And it was just that book that I just didn't want to put down. And I was just thinking about it all the time. So I think this is the winner out of the three that I read this week. This is the one that just like I was in love with and I did not want to put it down. So this is the winner and I'm really sad that I didn't get to this book, but February is not over. So I think for this whole month, I'm going to read as many romances as I can because I'm just like in the mood for it and I've never been in the mood for a lot of romances before but this time I am and so I think I'm still going to read this this month. If you all have any recommendations at all, any romances that you think that I should know about, please let me know in the comments because I just... I want to read romances. I want to read that this whole month. I just, I'm in the mood for it. I'm very happy that I did this challenge because it was so much fun. If you guys love any of these books, tell me which one your favorite is. If you've read these, if you have not read them, highly recommend. I really did enjoy all three of these books. It's just this one kind of one for me when I compare it to the other two, but they were all really good. 
this was so much fun and I really want to do more little challenges like this because this was really really fun to do so uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because there are so many other videos that I want to make and I appreciate all of you for watching if you've stayed this far in the video and I appreciate all of you I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time bye